25 years ago, Mexican filmmaker Guillermo del Toro made his feature film debut with Cronus. And last Sunday, he took home two Academy Awards. Del Toro's career runs parallel with that of the San Diego Latino Film Festival, which also launched in 1993. It's been an amazing journey, honestly. 25 years, we started as a small student film festival at local campuses, you know, with maybe a few dozen films, a few hundred people, and now we're expecting over 20,000 people, screening over 165 movies. So it's been an incredible journey. Cronus will screen as part of the San Diego Latino Film Festival's 25th anniversary celebration, says founder and executive director Ethan Vontilo. So a lot has happened in 25 years. You know, there's definitely more Latinos in Hollywood. We have Latinos winning Oscars. It's amazing what's been taking place. But that said is that despite a huge Latino population in the United States and a huge Latino population that are seen movies, Hollywood movies, there's still only 3% of Latinos that are actors or actresses that are in front of the camera. So there's a lot of work that and it still needs to be done. We still need more Latino representation in front and behind the cameras. Fontilo came to San Diego from UC Santa Cruz, where he had started a Chicano film festival. So I came down to San Diego and I saw that no one was doing anything like this here in, in the region. And with such a large Latino population, I thought it was very important to start a film festival that celebrates the Latino community and that also, you know, try to combat the negative stereotypes that we're seeing in news and, and television and film. Uh, and again, started a small film festival. We were the only one of its kind called Cine Estudiantil, uh, supporting Latino student films from Mexico, Latin America and all over the U.S. But once you decide to do something, you just got to go and do it. So you might, you know, screen it on the side of a wall or screen a movie in, in a small house. But the important thing is to announce that you're going to do it. And so people know that every year they can count on a Latino film festival here in San Diego. Fontilo says the festival hit a turning point in 1997. Edward James Olmos came to the film festival. He came to SDSU, packed the Moctezuma Halls, like over 700 people there. And I'm like, oh boy, so people like to see celebrities and they like to see feature films. And so that kind of, you know, I, w I woke up, you know, and I saw that maybe we need to start uh, inviting more international filmmakers and actors to the film festival. And then in 1998, we moved the film festival to Horton Plaza. We were at a mainstream movie theater, started inviting uh, actors and filmmakers. Uh, we started screening feature films, and then corporate America was kind of connecting to us, too. So that's how we started to grow. And to evolve in order to meet continual funding challenges. And one way we've evolved over the years, and I think one reason why this Latino Festival has been uh, around for so many years, is that our, our involvement with the community, and in particular, our educational programs. So about 16, 17 years ago, because of the growth of the Latino Film Festival, we were able to create the Media Arts Center San Diego which is a nonprofit organization that teaches youth how to make films and videos. And so we have started camps, team producers, we go into the community, and it's those year-round educational programs that have been able to help sustain our film festival and our organization. So we have year-long programming for classes, workshops. We have our own movie theater now called the Digital Gym Cinema, where we screen independent foreign film throughout the year, so it's not just a film festival. But the festival has a lot to do to make sure that Latino voices continue to be heard. You know, it's amazing to see the growth of Latino cinema in general. Damian Bichid, who came to the film festival early on, has been nominated for an Oscar. Uh, Kate Del Castillo, who was a telenovela star at the time, but then now is, you know, big in the, in, in the U.S. as well. Uh, Alfonso Cuaron, we screen Y Tu Mamá También. And I remember this, I still see those photos, you know, of the young Alfonso and Diego and Gael all together on that stage at Hazard Center. I'm just thinking to myself, gosh, that really happened. And I just uh, think it's important that the Film Festival continues to support emerging filmmakers and, and Latino actors and directors is, yeah, we want to celebrate those who have had, had success, but also at the same time, we want to find the next guy. Yeah, we want to find the next Guillermo del Toro. And I want to encourage people to come out and see these independent and feature films from all over Latin America, Mexico and Spain and the U.S. to support, you know, the next filmmakers of, of the future. Maybe you'll discover one of those new talents as the San Diego Latino Film Festival enters its next quarter century. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.